In just one week, Dildo Penis transformed into Dylan Dennis. There has never been a person in the history of the internet who completely changed their self-image in just one week. He went from being a irresponsible Conor McGregor's water boy to becoming a true hero. He managed to bully the bully, completely obliterating Logan Paul with just one tweet. It was his confrontation with the older Paul brother that revived YouTube boxing. Despite the rough times the scene had been going through for the past couple of months, it's now more alive and popular than ever before. But to fully grasp the uniqueness of Dylan's transformation and his rivalry with the Paul brothers, we need to remember the controversial journey of Dylan Dennis. On March 5, 2016, Conor McGregor was supposed to fight for the lightweight title and become a double champion. However, champion Rafael Dos Anjos got injured and pulled out of the fight, leading to Nate Diaz stepping in with just 10 days' notice. McGregor didn't take his opponent seriously due to the short notice, and on the fight day, he battered Diaz in the first round. However, McGregor's lack of respect for Nate led him to exert a lot of energy, causing him to tire out. Diaz capitalized on this, wearing out McGregor and eventually shocking him on the ground after a series of heavy hits. This marked Connor's first UFC defeat, a loss that shocked the world and dashed his title hopes. Consequently, McGregor demanded a rematch and trained diligently for it, especially focusing on his Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills. To prepare for Diaz, he brought in a young jiu-jitsu prodigy, Dylan Danis. Despite not having a black belt at the time, Dylan's skill level surpassed many black belts, impressing McGregor with his understanding of jiu-jitsu and personal qualities. As a result, Dylan became more than just a grappling coach. He became a part of McGregor's team. McGregor won the rematch against Nate. In the next fight, he became a double champion and later engaged in a boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. Throughout this time, Dylan Danis remained part of Connor's team, sometimes acting as a coach and sometimes offering support at press conferences. With Connor's help, Dylan began his MMA career in the Bellator promotion, achieving two victories. However, he faced criticism due to his cringeworthy bad boy image, obviously borrowed from the Irishman. During those years, many young MMA fighters tried to imitate McGregor, leading to annoyance among the audience with yet another arrogant trash talker. The peak of the animosity towards Dylan came during Connor's bout with Khabib. Although McGregor threw a lot of insults at the Dagestani fighter, he couldn't truly compete in the fight. He lost by submission in the fourth round, but the story didn't end there. Just as the fight concluded, Dylan shouted offensive words towards Khabib. This provoked Khabib's emotions, leading to his now legendary eagle jump out of the octagon. The post-fight brawl possibly became even more popular than the fight itself. The teams of Khabib and Connor engaged in a brawl inside the octagon and throughout the arena, resulting in most participants of the event being suspended. At that very moment, Dylan became the most despised part of McGregor's team. And that's quite an achievement, considering that Connor himself, quite notorious person. As time went on, things only got worse. Dylan kept promising he would return to fighting soon, but he never stepped into the ring. He would claim injuries or training restrictions as excuses. Yet, while he was talking about why he couldn't fight, videos would surface online showing him partying at clubs. It was precisely at a club where he faced the most embarrassing moment of his fighting career. Dylan got into an altercation with a bouncer, leading to a fight in which he didn't just lose, he was choked out. Yes, the jiu-jitsu phenom was choked out by a club bouncer. This moment completely discredited Dylan as a fighter. Despite his terrible striking skills, he always had an excuse that if he took the fight to the ground, he would win regardless of size. But Dylan had one more card up his sleeve. He considered himself a master troll, claiming that in the realm of degenerate mind games, nobody was better than him. However, you can't be the best at degenerate things when the Paul brothers exist. That's why Jake and Logan ridiculed Dylan, with Jake even boasting about sleeping with Dylan's ex-girlfriend. Dylan, I know you're watching this, and just remember you're still a bitch, and I hooked up with your girlfriend. <laughs> you <a> pussy, Dylan. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Savannah, what's good? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> During an interview with Brendan Schaub, Jake suddenly showed up in a car and began throwing trash at Dylan. 
Dylan couldn't do anything about it. He tried to catch up to Jake's car, but a knee injury stopped him. He ended up staring at the screen with a humiliated and disheveled face. It seemed like there was nowhere further to fall. As a fighter, he was discredited, and as a troll, he was out-trolled by the Paul brothers. What was next? Well, since he wasn't regarded as a professional fighter anymore, he decided to try his hand at YouTube boxing. His opponent was supposed to be KSI and the promotion was going well. Dylan said it was the easiest money he'd ever made, that he didn't even need to train much to win. He also gained attention for his aggressive coffee offer that not only baffled KSI but everyone around. Afterwards, he got smacked by Antoine Taylor on the street. But the main surprise awaited us a week before the fight. Dylan decided not to participate in the fight. When asked why, he eloquently stated that he simply hadn't trained well. First time in the history of combat sports, a person refused to fight due to poor training. And now you might wonder, how can he regain any respect after this? In 99.99% .99 of cases, that would be impossible. However, it seems like fate favors Dylan Dennis. Despite sabotaging one of the biggest tournaments in YouTube boxing history and disappointing a massive number of people, he was given a second chance, a chance to fight Logan Paul in an even larger event. It's the opponent's stature that changed people's perception of Dylan. After all, you only look better compared to those who worse than you, and finding someone worse than Logan Paul right now is quite a challenge. Everyone knows about his adventures in forest and stealing girlfriend from brother. The past year has been quite challenging for the elder Paul brother's reputation. Just a year ago, an investigation revealed that Logan Paul was behind an NFT game. The game involved collecting various animals in a Pokemon style, but the twist was that each animal had real-world value. On paper, it was a fun game, but in reality, it was a scam. People bought these animals, tried to trade them, but the app itself was glitchy. Many promised features didn't work, and over time, the value of all the animals plummeted. In other words, people were deceived. The total amount of money lost due to the scam was around $3 million. After the investigation and evidence clearly pointing to Logan's guilt, he promised to reimburse $1.5 million. However, after making that promise, Paul went silent. A year has passed since the investigation, and the victims still haven't been compensated. To add to this debacle, Logan's inflated ego, which his team can hardly control, comes into play. He bullied his old friend and podcast co-host. He ridiculed his friend's life views and religion, eventually kicked him off the podcast, and did it in a way that his former friend isn't even allowed to publicly discuss what happened between them. This ego trip extended to his own brother. Everyone knows Logan loves collaborating with Jake's enemies. He teamed up with KSI for a water brand, which he used to sponsor another of Jake's rival, Dana White. However, the peak of hatred towards his brother was evident in his reaction to Jake's victory over Nate Diaz. It was strange to see his own brother looking so sad after Jake's win. Many tried to justify it by saying that a few hours prior, Logan had participated in a wrestling match and was simply tired. However, in the podcast after the fight, it became clear that it wasn't just fatigue. Logan demonstrated a lack of respect, belittlement, and manipulation of his younger brother. Here, words alone can't describe it. You simply have to watch. Tommy Fury's on my radar. I have him in my scopes. I wanted him when Jake was fighting him. And... I'm gonna be back in the conversation, which I'm fucking stoked about. Yeah, dude. Something no, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish him <laughs> off first. I gotta handle that business first. We'll see, bro, because uh, you definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight from me, and I've been so lenient in giving you your <laughs> opponents. And I think it's but my it's not wait it's not your option to give me my opponents. <laughs> you you haven't fought anyone. You don't fight. You don't fight real fights. It's just not your option to give me my opponents. You're not even a fighter. Like you do exhibitions and lost like four years ago. So it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz have been talking about that for years, and then you popped up and were like, "No, now it's my turn. I want that fight." And then start talking shit, and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone, and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. I think I'm better than you, and I think Nate chose you for a reason, and I think everyone knows that.
Even, what do you mean? Even in even in here. But what have you done to prove that you're better than me? Well, I don't know. Went toe to toe eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time. What do you think happens if you fight Floyd Mayweather? I would knock him out, bro. One hundred percent. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. You you think because you lost a fight to Floyd That's Mayweather that fresh. you're better than me at boxing? You said I won the fight. I in person when I was watching it, I thought so. But then, yeah, watching it back, it's like okay, I had like a biased point of view, like sitting there in person. This is the first time I've heard you say that. You're yeah, switch, but because we never switch, talked about you're just it. Switching up like that. The whole internet saw you repeatedly throughout the past two years say that I won that fight. And now yeah, you're saying the I'm opposite? Because I'm rooting for you. But like, if you want to know the truth, yeah, like I'm going to ride or die for you on my shield. Yeah, 100%. And afterwards, when I saw that you lost it on TV, people in interviews would still be like, what do you think? I'm not going to be like, no, I watched it back and he, I thought he lost. No, he fucking won because you're my brother. Uh, Come on, me, I'm your brother building a oh, business. Oh, yeah, you're, you're my brother. What do you, you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, you can't I, tell I'm me not what to wear. Logan, Logan. Yeah, but, he, but if, if, Mike, they're chill, us, chill. if they're paying one us, fucking second, chill. if they're paying no, us but, millions of dollars and they say, hey, but we don't want this person to be doing this stuff at the event with a competing That's brand. That's ridiculous. I couldn't bring in a prime bottle. The zone who, by the way, on the Misfits card, KSI's event, promoted the fuck out of your fight against Nate Diaz. The zone was not allowed to promote the prime card. That's ridiculous. But that's where I get confused, though, of playing both sides. Because you love to play the brother card when it's, like, convenient. But then it's like, oh, I want to go, like, at, I want, like, my get back at Tommy Fury. And you're like, no, 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 no. I need to do my career. I need to do, I've been sitting on the sidelines. You're taking all these fights from me. Like. With this baggage of L's from both sides, the announcement came that Logan would be fighting Dylan. However, Dennis skillfully played on the constant lies, scams, and manipulations of Logan Paul. By exposing his fake image and his supposedly happy, successful life, he shattered the facade. Dylan began posting a plethora of pictures of Logan's wife with different men, and these photos were far from innocent. Various streamers started calculating just how many men she had been with per year. They used these numbers to rationalize her lifestyle. According to their calculations, there were about 73 different photos and 62 different guys. She's 31. Let's say she went to L.A. at the age of 20, right? So that's 11 years, right? And like some relationships might last a year, some might last six months. So let's say she's banging two dudes per year. It's, it's not crazy, bro. Six months is a long time. Like some girls might do twice a month, once a month. She, Let's give her the benefit of the doubt that she's getting a new partner twice a year. So every six months, you know, as she meets a new dude or some shit from 20 to 31, that's 11 years. So that's like 22. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's normal, Chad. Is that normal? Bad. After the photos, they started using snippets from interviews for ammunition. Her statements. Well, let's just say you should watch for yourself. I sucked the dick in a football stadium full of people once. <laughs> I don't really think penises are that pretty, so I prefer you to hide it inside <laughs> casually. Only thing better than dessert is sex. Then he would cook me dinner again, like a good steak with a good sauce and some potatoes, maybe some green beans. And then <laughs> after that, you know what happens. <laughs> oh, hello. By the way, I'm very proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever gone without sex since I started. Obviously, it's driving me crazy. I am struggling. I mean, penis inside of ASAP. Like, all I want is like a big fat sausage just destroying my body. So, if any of you guys know a good dick that doesn't have a and yes, there's no problem with this. Everyone can live however they want. However, Logan Paul didn't like it. In just a week, he attempted to block Dylan Dennis's accounts on social media a couple of times. He understands that the issue isn't about slut shaming, but rather karma. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this particular segment of the podcast that utterly destroyed Logan Paul in the public eye. You not having sex with me for the duration of time that you did was very important. You thought something was wrong with me. I, I'll be honest, I thought I did. You, talk, you talked to Mike about it. I said, this, this, this girl's perfect as far as I can tell. <laughs> There's one unexplored <laughs> venture 
And I, I have reason to believe that there's probably something wrong with it because if it's too good to be true, it probably is. After all that statistical evidence and her personal statements about her intimate life, it becomes clear that her struggle with anxiety sounds forced. Her ban on sexual activity with Logan sounds even stranger. In other words, it's a situation where a liar and manipulator fell for lies and manipulation. It's one of the most vivid examples of karma in the YouTube boxing scene in recent years. While Logan laughed at Adam22 and his wife, it was Adam who supported him in this situation. All right, so Logan Paul has an upcoming boxing match against this Dylan Danis guy. And Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying to embarrass Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance has spent time with before Logan. Ah, uh, this is Ja Rule. Dylan, I don't know how hip hop fluent you are, but this is one of the goats. What's love got to do with it? Huh? I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. Uh, Dylan, this is one of the goats. If his girl has actually spent time in the presence of Ja Rule, then he should be proud of it. Personally, I think the more men that your woman has spent time with before you get her, the more desirable she becomes. How about that, Dylan? Also, why was Dylan Danis like the first guy in my girl's DMs as soon as she started to go viral with the Jason Love thing? Uh, I guess he says he's Armenian or whatever, but uh, you're a perv, so let's just throw that out there. Dylan Danis's victory doesn't lie in making fun of the number of partners Logan's wife had. It's about exposing Logan, who's known for his cunning, as someone who was clearly deceived. What's even more funny is that this happened when he publicly humiliated the only person who consistently supported him, his younger brother Jake. And even if he's realized all of this, Logan Paul is now caught between a rock and a hard place. Whatever decision he makes, Dylan has mentally come out on top. Three. Dylan Dylan says this, right? And he sent it to some people. He said, there's a picture that's going to end there or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Is it you with a, a guy? This clever psychological game has gained Danis over 300,000 subscribers in just a week. To try to make amends, Logan prepared banners, a huge cake, and even a website for the press conference. Yes, it somewhat improved the situation, but the scales are heavily tipped. With just a single phrase, Dylan silenced Logan. You don't gotta take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. At least I got rid of this slut. You're marrying one. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Run your mouth all you want. 75 bodies you know, she's but been you with, buddy. Damn well, you more. ain't ever been with any girl as beautiful as my girl. Yeah, okay. My lovely Every single guy in New York is beautiful as me. So Relax. She is very gorgeous to me. <laughs> this cunning and uncompromising mental game with Logan Paul has restored respect for Dylan Dennis. As Logan's brother said, he bullied the bully. However, trash talk is just part of the fighting game. There's also the actual bout, where Dennis doesn't appear to be the favorite. Well, and don't forget that just a few months ago, Dennis acted like a total dildo and pulled out of the fight with KSI. Who knows, he might repeat that with Logan. What do you think? Will the fight actually happen?